The guys at NHS asked me to do the Graphic Mob photo series, which I'm excited to be part of. Um, it's a different way to look at photos. You know, they're not on the walls or magazines, they're on your boards now. That being said, the first photo is um, Jason Jesse with his uh, pickup truck that had bullet holes in it, as you can see. We just shot this photo kind of just on a whim and I wasn't planning to use it for anything and here it is on this for your viewing pleasure. Use guns correctly, take safety classes and all that stuff. Here's another one of Tom Penny. This was on a, a Super Tour. I think this is Vienna. And Tom was just killing it, like skating super good. Well, this is a vertical, but I shot it as a horizontal just to kind of show the spot. And it's a super hard spot to skate. It's like really thin and Tom being the master of frontside flips, frontside flipped super good. And it was super fun to travel with Tom. Tom, miss you buddy. Big Blue, this was shot with a Holga camera. I would roll the Holga little bits, little bits, and then this one was actually like a full frame. So, it looks cool, right? Like how you do that. Random fact about Big Blue was, um, this was the old Birdhouse team van. The team manager at the time offered it to me, and all I could think about was like, I'm gonna take this van to Skatopia and blow it up. That's all I wanted to do, it was just one way, Skatopia, blow it up, and then fly home. And then I took it to my buddy, um, Ben Sanchez. I just was like, hey, get this thing. So it'll make it to Ohio. So when I went and picked it up, he was like, dude, this van runs really, really good. It'll probably last another 100,000 miles. And I was like, really? So 100,000 miles later, Big Blue's almost, it's got like 280,000 miles on it. So I'm glad I didn't blow it up. We got Anthony Van England and a bunch of the workshop guys. I think this was outside of DC. Maybe. Anytime I got invited to go on an alien workshop trip, I was like super duper stoked. When I first started working at high speed, Luke Ogden was like the main guy, the thrasher, head photographer. I would just, I was looking at his photos. Like I was looking at all the archives of photos, like Bryce Knights, all these, everyone had binders there, like MoFo. And I was just blown away with like the archive and just like how prolific everyone was. Luke was just like, hey, he's like, you want to get photos like this? Just have a camera with you at all times. So I just, had a camera that I just wore around my neck and anytime that I'm not shooting the action part of skateboarding or whatever you want to call it, um, you know, I was just shooting lifestyles and stuff like this. And this is the guys just blowing off steam, essentially. You know, like we found a wiffle ball bat, I think, in the ball in a parking lot and those guys just started throwing it around and I thought it was like a cool, cool image. And uh, it was just a fun time, just fun times in skateboarding. Here's Nate Jones in San Francisco doing a 360 flip. And uh, these are all the wires from the street going up the street. I went to go shoot a photo of Matt Field, and I was just looking up the street. I'm like, oh man, this is such a cool spot. Like, this just the street looked really, really cool going up with all the wires. And um, we had a super long lens at, at high speed. I think it was a 600 millimeter lens, 2.8. So I was at the bottom of the hill. Nate was at the top of the hill, and I was calling him. It was like flip phones at the time. I was calling him. I'm like, hey Nate, do another 360 flip, push by. I was almost, I think I was almost four blocks away when I shot this photo. It ended up being a slap cover. I thought this was a cool image for this, just silhouetted and all the layers and stuff like that, but yeah, it's cool. It'll look cool on a skateboard. Now I gotta figure out which grip tape I'm gonna set up on my board. Big blue, ready to hit the streets. Looks good, super stoked on how it looks. Ready to do it.